Even though I'm not really going places right now, I still have essentials that I like to bring with me anytime I leave my home. So that's why today I want to share with you my everyday carry. Hey y'all, it's Annalise, and it's been a couple years since I've done an EDC video, an everyday carry, and one, a couple of things have changed with what I choose to carry. My bag has changed, the world has changed, so the things I need to carry with me have changed a bit. But secondly, something I realized recently is just like the tech space here on YouTube, the EDC topic genre of videos, which I feel like typically leans towards the tech tube side of YouTube, is very male dominated. So as a woman in the tech tube space, I would like to contribute to the conversation with an EDC video because I like watching these videos and it might give you some insight on what things you might want to add to your everyday carry. So getting started, I want to show you my bag. This is the Made by Design. I believe it's called their travel backpack from Target. It has a whole bunch of RFID protectors. I don't know what you would call that, but pretty much on this front pocket here and on a little pocket on the inside, there's an, like an RFID protecty thing. So that way if you have any cards that are like tap to touch or even like NFC readers, stuff like that, it protects it from that. I have tested this and it definitely does work. So that's a nice thing to have while you're traveling, especially if you're traveling with a whole bunch of tech things. There are two other bags that I do like to use. One is the Loungefly mini backpack. It's the Epcot 35th anniversary one with pigment on it, my fave. And then I also have this little crossbody bag I got from Target eons ago and it's just nice and simple and maybe I don't want to carry a backpack with me. But I am somebody who in I feel like every other universe than this one, every other timeline, I am a doomsday prepper because I like to be prepared and I like to bring a lot of things with me. So that's why I like having a backpack. It's not too big, it's very comfortable, it's very versatile. But let's go ahead and get into what is in here and when I do my EDC videos I like kind of well, one, I just carry a lot of things with me so I want to show you everything that I got in case of like I said you might get some inspiration for what you might want to add to your everyday carry but I like to go in order of like if I'm leaving the house and I need to bring the minimal amount of things the, the least amount of things as possible I'm gonna show you that first, like wallet keys phone category. And then I have some additional things that I like to bring with me if I have the opportunity. Also, depending on how long I'm going to be gone from my house, what I'm going to be doing, that type of stuff. So let's get into it. So to start with the wallet keys phone section, I'll start with my wallet. This is a little small card wallet that I got from Target. A lot of Target things will probably be featured in this video because your girl loves Target. But I switched over to like a card wallet, like a tiny boy like this a couple of years ago, and I've never gone back. Then I guess we should just move right on to the keys. Um, now the keys are not the important part. What's actually the thing I want to show you is my car key. Now something that I am a big fan of along with Target is carabiners of all sorts of shapes and sizes. And ever since I have put a mini carabiner on my car keys, my life has been changed. It's nice because I can separate my car key from all of this nonsense that I might not need at every moment, or if I'm leaving my car, I can leave my mailbox key or my house key in my car, but you don't wanna leave your car key in your car. And the reason why I started doing this is because back when I would go to the gym, when we could do that, I would wanna bring my keys in from my car because I don't wanna leave my keys in the car because that's just like asking for a problem. But I always had one thing with me and that is my Hydro Flask. And by having this little mini carabiner on my car key, I could easily detach it from my main keychain and attach it to my Hydro Flask. And also it's nice for if you're going somewhere and you want less things on your person. It's just a dream. Get yourself some carabiners. They are so worth the investment. Speaking of carabiners, actually, on my backpack, I always keep, on all of my backpacks too, even my lounge fly backpack, my big backpack, 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 I always keep a little carabiner on one of the arm straps. The reason why I do this is it all centers around the Hydro Flask, it really does. But you can then hang your water bottle from it and it's a nice way to be hands-free but without having to take off your backpack every time to re-put your Hydro in the backpack. It's nice, I recommend it. Another one of my everyday carry items is absolutely a water bottle. My water bottle of choice is a Hydro Flask. I have used a Swell bottle and a Takeo water bottle and I don't know, there is something about the Hydro Flask that I just like. I have uh, three Hydro Flasks and I think one of my favorites is the 32 ounce Wide Mouth. I did get the Take Yaw lid from Amazon. It's the sport lid, so you can drink out of it easy without having to worry about spilling water all over yourself. But what's nice about the 32 ounce, it is the perfect size for the mini lounge fly bags for that backpack that I have. Pretty much any reason, any occasion, any bag, this is like the perfect size, the perfect amount of water. And I drink water like it's going out of style. So I always need to have like more than enough and 
this suffices for most trips that I do. I love myself a Hydro Flask, but like if you're not using a reusable water bottle, like come on folks, it's 2021, reusable water bottle. Save the environment and save yourself some coin. But moving on, I guess the next thing in the wallet keys phone is my phone. I have an iPhone XS. The case I have on it is the Otterbox Symmetry case in this really cool like sunflower yellow. I love the Otterbox Symmetry cases, big fan. I also have a pop socket on here that kind of looks like a little like ripple effect with like an opalescent color to it. It's very neat. And then on my wrist, I've got the Series 4 44 millimeter stainless steel Apple Watch with the sport loop. And this is my favorite my favorite Apple Watch band. This one in particular is my favorite because it's the only one that I have is that that is this style, but a neutral color because I have the Pride one from like uh, two years ago and I have this one, I think it's called Electric Orange. It's an aggressive orange and it doesn't exactly match everything. And although I love orange, <laughs> an aggressive neon orange doesn't go with every outfit, but this is the most comfortable band I own. It's Velcro, it's super soft. I've worked out in it, but I wouldn't recommend it if you sweat a lot, especially on your wrists or your arms, because it is kind of like, a fabric E one. So I tend to use my regular sport band, but if I'm just living my life, this is the band I go with because it is so comfortable. If you have an Apple watch and you do not have the sport loop, like do yourself a favor, it, they're, they're so comfy. Okay, moving on to other essential items. I do always have a pair of sunglasses on me because your girl has some sensitive peepers. Holy cannoli, my eyes are so sensitive to the light. I wear sunglasses in the winter. These are from Target. I believe the brand is a new day. I have not seen them in Target for a while. And that could possibly be because I bought them all out years ago because I really like them. They fit my big old head and they fit my big face too. And I know they're gonna break one day. So I wanted to have backups, but I did just recently get these really neat um, all in motion, also from Target sunglasses that are a similar vibe. They are a little bit different, but they're also very comfortable. Once again, they fit my big head. And that is a, that is a big necessity in the sunglasses department for me. And you know, because it is 2021. We've got hand sanitizer and a mask. I love this little Purell pump, travel pump hand sanitizer. You can get it at Target. It's always the perfect amount of hand sanitizer. Oh, no, I gotta. Did you know, I didn't know this until like the last year, that you have to rub your hands with hand sanitizer until it's dry for it to do, do the thing, to do the hand sanitizing. I just would dry it and go. <laughs> the more you know. And then my mask of choice is the Shop Disney mask. I love these masks. I have a whole wall of them here. They are the most comfortable masks. I have run in them multiple miles, not to flex on you guys that I run, but I have done so in this mask. They are comfortable, breathable. They're once again, comfortable for my big head. Your girl has a big head. And I wear the adult large size and I don't feel like it's like pulling on my ears or uncomfortable. You know, it's it's not great for the glasses wearer because when I do wear either my computer glasses or my sunglasses, sometimes I do get a little bit of fogging, but it's not too bad. And I just love the fun prints. Look, it's the Valley of Mora from Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We love it. The only thing I wish is that they made some plain ones, but I get why they don't because why would people buy them if they were just plain masks when you're buying it from Disney? But I don't have a plain mask. I don't have a plain black mask. They all have something on them. Something or someone. <laughs> okay, now that we've hit all of the essential things, now I wanna move on to the, if I'm bringing a bag with me, like if all these things don't have to be in my pockets and I can actually like carry a bag with me type of category, the next tier up of my everyday carry. So in this front pocket, I'm gonna explain this. Give me a second to explain. Uh, but I have three pairs of Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> let me explain. Let me let me explain. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. <laughs> I'm a tech reviewer, mom, you wouldn't understand. That's pretty much why I have three pairs of headphones. So first of all, if I'm ever bringing a pair of headphones with me, my go-tos right now, my daily drivers, if you will, are my second generation AirPods in this super cute Baymax case. I always shout out this case because it's literally so cute. I'll link it down below. My second option for headphones, if I was either not bringing my AirPods or wanted to bring two for some reason, would be my Beats Flex. I love these guys. I know they're not wireless in the same way, but I don't mind like the tiny wire from my neck to my ear. It's totally cool with me. I do have a full in-depth review on this. So if you want to know my thoughts on these headphones, go check that out. That'll be in like a card or something like that. But this, 
this, this pair of headphones here. These are the Raycon Everyday E25s. And the reason why I have them, it, it, it sounds odd, I know. Look, a non-Apple thing in this Apple person's bag. What? Both of these, even though these are Beats, they're still Apple. The reason why I have the Raycons with me is because I'm actually doing like a full in-depth like expose, the most comprehensive review that you're gonna find on YouTube about these headphones. I'm currently working on that right now. So I am testing them out. And when I test these headphones, I wanna have other options to compare them to. Like I went on a run with these and I kind of was like switching out the headphones to see what the differences were. So that's why I'm currently always carrying three pairs of headphones on me. It seems excessive, but it's for y'all, so. Stay tuned if you're looking forward to that video, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss it when I upload it. Okay, so the next thing that I've been carrying on me pretty recently because of the whole like panorama going on is this spray that I got that I have not used yet, but it's called Eon Sanitizing Mist, personal size multi-surface disinfectant. And you're supposed to like spray it on a surface. Like let's say you're going to have a picnic at a park or something like that. You spray this on the table, let it dry, and then you're good. Which I, I'm not somebody who feels comfortable with going and like sitting at an outdoor restaurant or any of that type of stuff. But when that day does come, I would like to be prepared. And like I said, if there's anybody who would be a doomsday prepper, it would be me. I'm always just trying to be prepared. And a lot of the things in my bag have come from needing something just like one too many times and where I just go, screw it, I'm throwing it in the bag. So although I haven't needed it yet, this is just more of a preemptive preca precaution for precautions precautiousness. I would have a first aid kit on me and I used to, but then I just didn't use it enough. And so I, I took it out of my bag, but watch. Now that I've said that, I've spoken it into the universe. Uh, no, okay. Anyway, if you are a person with long hair, I highly recommend getting a mini wet brush. Once again, I got this from, say it with me, Target. And these are great brushes, even though they're not super like dense bristles. Once again, I am a person with hair and a lot of it. And so I have various hair taming things like Bob Bobby pins and mini hair ties and scrunchies. Those are an essential for me. Of course, we've got Tic Tacs and some chapstick, the necessities. Now this last little section is the, the bonus round of items. So starting off with this little bag I have here. There might be a lot of pockets to this bag, but there's not a lot of internal pockets of the main compartment to this bag. And I have a lot of things, like a lot of tiny things that I'd like to bring with me if I have the opportunity to do so, if I can afford the bag space or whatever. So I got a little makeup bag. This is a little Ipsy bag and put some things in here that have really just like saved my butt sometimes. So we've got a microfiber cloth. And if you wear glasses, if you wear sunglasses, or if you have a phone or an Apple watch, treat yourself and just throw a microfiber cloth into your bag. Make your things look nice. Make your eyes be able to see through your glasses. Like so good, so good. The next thing that I've added that I like to keep on me is an extra phone charger. I have the five watt adapter and a lightning cable. And although I have a detachable lightning cable in my car charger, what tends to be the issue is not having a wall adapter available, but you have the cable, you just don't have the wall adapter. So this once again has also saved my tail. Next up, if you are not new to the channel, you would be familiar with my Altoids cases, but if you are new, first of all, subscribe if you made it this far. I feel like you're enjoying it so far and you might like my future videos, but get mini Altoids tins, put some nail polish or paint or tape or something on the top and put in them whatever you would like that fits in there. I use them for SD cards, I use them for bobby pins, but most importantly, I've got some Advil in here. You know what? You become a real popular person when you have painkillers on you. I also uh, like keeping Sharpies and pens on me. It comes in handy. Once again, this, this whole container could just be, I needed something one too many times. And so I've decided to put it in this pouch as just a just in case. And uh, having a pen on you is always nice, but having a Sharpie, sometimes it comes in clutch. We've got more bobby pins in here, but I feel like a very unsung hero of the, the everyday carry would be a nail clipper. Now, yes, sometimes you get yourself into a pickle and you need to trim the little fingers. But what's nice about a nail clipper is that it's like scissors, but not. <laughs> There have just been some times where I've had to like open up packaging or cut something off or like a tag or something like that. And the nail clippers have been able to do it. So by having a little travel nail clipper with you, you might save yourself from more problems than just a hangnail. So consider adding it to your little bag if you have a bag within your bag. The last couple of things I have is my iPad Pro. Now this iPad fits perfectly. There's even a little tablet pouch back here. It fits perfectly into this Target bag. And I love carrying my iPad with me pretty much anywhere I 
go because it is a bridge from my computer. So it's like a laptop without being a laptop. I can still access a lot of things that I need to. I can do a lot of things, read stuff, work on scripts, work on like whether I'm in a show or writing a script for a YouTube video. It's a great piece of technology that I like to carry with me a lot, but I won't always bring it with me because it does kind of add a little extra heft to my bag. But this is something that I do enjoy bringing with me. Another thing that I will bring with me, depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing, and depending on how long I'm going to be gone from my car, is a mobile power bank, a mobile phone charger. This is from Anchor. It is their PowerCore 13,000? Yeah, the PowerCore 13,000. So it's a 13,000 milliamp battery, which is like, how many phone charges is that? Depending on your phone, I think it's like four-ish phone charges. It's got two USB-A ports. It charges using micro USB. It's really nice to have one of these and just have it kind of readily charged in some spot in your room or your office or whatever. So that way maybe you're going out and you realize, oh, I'm gonna be out for a really long day or maybe you are going to like a theme park. That's another thing. A lot of the things in my bag are influenced by going to Disneyland. I used to live around the corner from Disneyland. I have things planned for going to Disneyland a lot. I also used to work in Disney World. So my brain is really wired to the Disney parks, but it's nice to have these. And especially if you have it charged and just kind of sitting and waiting somewhere, when you're ready to run out the door and you realize, oh, I should bring my power bank with me. You just grab it, throw it in your bag. You already have the lightning cable in there. Boom, you're set. You're set for an adventure. So folks, that was my everyday carry plus the things that I like to carry additionally with me sometimes. So most days I'm carrying at least some of these things, but that title is way too long and not catchy at all. I hope y'all enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below what is something that you consider to be a part of your everyday carry. Let's do like an additional challenge aside from wallet keys phone. Like is there anything on top of wallet keys phone that is your essential that you always need to have with you before you leave the house? If you are new and you made it this far, I feel like you enjoyed hanging out with me. I feel like we've got something going going on, so consider subscribing. I make videos primarily about like tech-centric things. Like I said, the Raycon review, it is coming very soon. But I also like to make some videos that are more like lifestyle-based and kind of like about me as my life as a 25-year-old actor, content creator person. So if that sounds interesting to you in any way, please subscribe, turn on the bell so that way you never miss an upload. And then below that bell icon in the description down below, I always put timestamps to my videos if they're applicable, as well as links to products that I might have mentioned in my video. And I think that is it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate your time and I hope you had a good time while you were here. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!